Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to make a speed ability. So, whenever someone throws an item that you decided that they will be using, it gives them the ability and then a, then a cooldown. And then once it's done, it'll give them the potion back so they can use it again and just you can extend the cooldown as long as you want but i have it short so i can demonstrate it so um to give yourself command block you do slash give at s command underscore block and then make sure it's facing upwards or to this side doesn't matter <coughs> um so Repeat always active execute at, at E. Type equals item name equals speed ability. That's the name of the item that I put. You can name it whatever. If it's a space, you have to have the parentheses. Unless it won't work without the parentheses. Tag equals explanation point speed ace. This is just in case the guy that got his ability somehow grabbed another one and can't just keep on getting the speed ability and then as at p r equals 5 c equals 1 this is testing for the player nearby run effect at s speed 10 10 true 10 true this is how strong it's gonna be this is the timer this 10 right here timer you can make this as long as you want and then 10, this is as strong as the speed ability is going to get. So, you see, 100, I'm a lot faster than previously. And then the true is so people don't see the particle effect and it annoys them. You could remove it if you want, but I like it having, I like it not having the particle effect. And then chain conditional always active, execute at, at E. Type equals item, name equals speed ability, as at P, R equals 5, C equals 1, run messenger at S, you activated your speed ability. So, this just lets the player know their speed ability is activated. And then, chain conditional, always active, execute at, at E, type equals item, name equals speed ability, as at p r equals 5 c equals 1 run replace item entity at s slot dot period weapon period main hand zero barrier you can make this any item you want i just have it as a barrier to let them know that they can't use their ability yet um and then chain conditional always active execute at at e type equals item name equals speed ability as at p r equals five c equals one run tag at s at speed a um this is just so we can test for whoever has the ability in the future commands um chain conditional always active kill at e type equals item name equals speed ability so they don't get speed forever and spams the chat and then repeat always active scoreboard players remove at a tag equals speed a scores equals speed a equals explanation point zero this is so when their ability runs out it doesn't go in the negatives it stays at zero uh you don't need that actually but i I just like having it like that. You can have it continue. But it might lag out your server. Depends on how many players. And I actually don't know. Speed A1. Oh, this scoreboard. You can name. The, you can put this whatever. I put speed. And then the A represents ability. One. And then make sure the tick speed is 20. This is one second in my code time. So, um, without that, it would go down so fast. 
and then repeat always active clear at a scores equals speed equals speed a equals one zero barrier this just this is the ending of the of their ability and then chain conditional always active execute at a, a scores equals speed a equals zero tag equals speed a run structure load speed a squiggly 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 this will give the item back to the player um the structure load just grab a structure block slash give s structure block and then place it and make sure the radius is in the size is this one 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 and then throw the item you're using right there and then just save it you can name it whatever and just save it and you see load and then it'll just give the block back um and then chain conditional always active tag at a scores equals speed a equals zero remove speed a this is removing the scoreboard so they can get it back uh, they can get the item back again um this part this part is so when they throw the barrier they just get it back so they don't so they don't lose it since we're a test so they don't lose the barrier and try to give it to another player execute at, at e type equals item name equals barrier as at p r equals five c equals one tag equals speed a scores equals speed a equals explanation point zero run give at s barrier this is so um they don't dupe with the barrier they don't throw it last second to receive it again when their ability runs out and then and then chain conditional always active kill at e type equals item just killing the barrier before anyone can get it oh make sure this one the original one has a tick speed of 15 since the once the player gets the item back again it will instantly activate if you don't have a tick speed right here so if you enjoyed the video today make sure to like and subscribe and uh, for more content like this consider turning on the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one